we are going to topic that how image is formed with help of lens. I'm giving you certain ideas here about the unit, uh, so how image is formed in this case. The first thing we should go by a set of rule that is called as Cartesian symbols. According to uh, Cartesian sign convention. According to this Cartesian sign convention, uh, one should consider that lens, suppose I am holding lens over here, then this is our left hand side of lens, this is right hand side of lens. Say this is my right hand, this is left hand. So this is left hand side of lens, this is right hand side of lens. So here object must be towards left hand side of lens, then image is observed on right hand side. Now here I am making a part, you are aware now this is P, this is focal length, uh, sorry focus. Now this same distance I am considering as 2F, here also this is F, this is approximate 2 Now we are considering object is here. Purposefully I am making arrow over here that is to indicate object is uphead in this direction. It is beyond 2F. So according to Cartesian sign my object is at left hand side now I have to check its image. Now you are aware of the rules, the way light should travel. Uh, keep in mind, if radiation, now from one point of this object, millions of radiations, infinite radiations are coming out. I should consider only one beam rather than infinite beam. So I am considering the one beam which is moving parallel to principal axis. This is principal axis. I am moving parallel and our rule says that if radiation is parallel to principal axis, it should pass through focus. So I am allowing it to pass through focus. Keep in mind, my drawings are not perfect, I am not using scale to draw and that's why my image position and size may vary. But your size and image position must be perfect because you are calculating this, measuring and doing this. Second radiation from this point, I am considering this is going straight away as principal axis. Third radiation, I should say this is passing through focus of this side. Then obviously this radiation should be parallel to principal axis afterwards. So I got meeting point over here or you may say second radiation should pass through P. If radiation is passing through P, it is undeflected. So you can consider number of radiation, this is first, second, third, that all unite here and you can say that these radiations are coming out from head position. So I have to show this is the image. So this way I am getting image here. Now just observe the image is inverted but this is the object side, this is image side. So practically I am able to observe image. Suppose I am having screen over here then by changing out screen position I can observe image and so this image is called as real image. Now this is real image this is inverted image and obviously it is not magnified image. So if object is beyond 2f we are getting a uh, convex lens then we are getting image in inverted format. That inverted means actually one should consider as water image because left right is not changed but direction up head and down head. So this is down head position we are getting image. So try to draw this diagram, but try to draw with measurement. 
proper measurement you are getting something different result than this that image will be there result is also there but position of image you have to check where it will get exact now second diagram uh, so this is uh, just to explain how images are formed now in my second diagram again we are following Cartesian size conventions only uh, I am making here P suppose this is F 2F same way F 2F object is I am placing here this is between F and P get result now we are aware first radiation should parallel to principal axis it should pass through F second radiation passing through P that is remaining undeflected this third radiation base radiation that is going I don't have any other radiation this is moving like this there is no chance that it will unite at this end so I have to check that at other end what happens with scale you can observe very clearly I am not going according to scale but I have to fit in the camera scale so this is the head position you will observe So, you are getting image on the same side where object is and image is formed by dotted line that means not the actual union of this line instead of that image is observed over here so this is magnified image than the object so here image is magnified then image is erect as object is there same direction image is there it is not inverted image and third thing, it is virtual image because one can't observe image as separately over here. You have to observe through this. So suppose your eye is at this position, then you are able to observe image at opposite. So this is the magnification of image. That's why we are using double convex lens as magnifying glass. And this way we can observe. Now you are aware that we are holding out lens over here and reading. That means we are using this as magnifying lens. Now same thing. Just uh, giving example. You can track object is on F. And find out. See first radiation always parallel to principal axis. And then it pass through F. Second radiation you can pass to P. See radiations are going parallel. If you are meeting over here, then also there is no chance that anywhere these two radiation will meet on this side, neither on this side. So we are calling image as at infinite position. If you are observing object through lens, you will just check out as we are moving lens away from object it appear bigger bigger and ultimately we are not getting anything in the lens this is the position the object is on f and at that position we are not getting image but we are saying image is obtained at infinite distance so this is the case so like that we can check out the position of object at different way and position of image and type of image at different way now same thing that is happening in case of mirror but keep in mind concave mirror is having similar function to that of convex lens and convex mirror is having similar function of concave lens so here I am showing mirror now this is reflecting side this is reflecting side so this is called as concave mirror now here obviously object must be here but uh, if all radiations are parallel to this principal axis then it appears that they will unite together at particular point 
So in this point we have to call as focus. So this way the radiations parallel to principal axis they will unite at particular point of mirror. This is called as focus. Everything of this mirror goes same but only thing is that instead of refraction this works on principle of reflection. Even sound reflection, sound waves, they are reflected in similar pattern by this concave mirror. Now, here, uh, these types of mirrors are there, so we are using concave mirror to focus something. Now, suppose this is something shaped like this. This is parabolic shape. And in case of parabolic mirror also, effect is something like that only. Plus focus is not exactly here, focus is somewhere inside here. But effect is similar, this is reflecting side of this parabolic mirror. You will get the light that is traveling parallel to principal axis. And that's why you can produce a straight line focus of almost equal intensity. So parabolic mirrors are used usually concave or parabolic concave mirrors are used in case of searchlight headlight, searchlight, car headlights there we are using this type of mirror concave mirror if only concave then it is used as magnifying glass also and that's why it is famous in dentist mirror so in case of dentist mirror whatever that some spoon like substance they are inserting in mouth that is actually a mirror at its end and that is concave mirror so they observe uh, the object that is magnified view in case of saloon nowadays we are using flat mirror but in old days that is called as actually shelling mirror a small mirror one can observe that is also concave mirror because that is giving me magnified view but in case of car or uh, our vehicle, two-wheeler, three-wheeler, four-wheeler, whatever.